question. Um, many kids in school get asked the question, what do you want to be when you're older? What would your answer be? My answer is, I want to be an FBI agent. Of course, after asking the question, the next question is, why do you want to be a so-and-so? In all honesty, I even wonder if it's even for me, because I just watched TV shows and I was interested in it. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, sorry. What really got me into um, FBI was TV shows, because TV shows. My favorite shows were, was probably Criminal Minds, Joe Kenda, and Bones. Criminal Minds is more uh, profiling, which is what I want to do. Um, and profiling is looking at behavior and seeing how you could solve a case. Of course, you're going to need evidence, but like behavior, so like explaining why, why did she he do it. Uh, Joe Kenda is a detective, which is something I wouldn't mind being also where you find clues and then you put it together and that's how you solve the case. Um, Bones is about an anthropologist and an FBI agent working together to solve crimes. So there is kind of like a personal story why I like what like why I like even started watching TV shows. So um, I kind of like thought about if I should even share this because it's personal and I asked my mom, it's we're cool. Um, in my family, there has been two murders. One was solved, one was not solved. I do not like this. Isn't like like a like a sad story, but it's like a like like a deeper meaning to why I want to do it. Um, my family has moved on, but you still see where if you bring up the person's name, it hurts because one is solved, but the other one's like we don't know. How it happened was uh, one wasn't just murder; it was it was torture. So it was more extended, and um, uh, um, it was you know gory. It was torture, so it was you know upsetting. And um, yeah, the second one was a like a hit and run where they just ran over the person repeatedly, and um, it's it was um, it's it, you know it's like hard to like talk about and. Um, um, yeah, so that's like personal story why, and I just don't want other people's families to be affected, and my family was affected. So, yeah. So, wait. Okay, for some reason these are like warped around, but, uh, what do FBI agents do? They, you know, that's <laughs> it's like all warped around. So, FBI agents are in charge of investigating over 200 different categories of violations. Related to national security and federal law, FBI agents can be found working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. These professionals are top-level law enforcers who investigate high into level crimes, national threats, terrorist threats, drug trafficking, white-collar crimes, investigate criminal activity, civil rights violations. The range of duties for FBI agents is, you know, far and wide, 200. And, um... Um... Yes, yeah, sorry. It's like really. What do I want to do? I want to investigate murders and be a detective. I want to, um, I want to, like, I wouldn't mind doing other stuff, but this is just something I really want to do. Like, I want to, uh, solve a case. I like solving things. I like to find out clues. I like to, like, I like to, for it to all just make sense. So I want to, um, yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, since that's what I want to do, there's different types of killers, which this one isn't finished, so I can't really present this one, but there's, um, I can't, like, give, like, the titles, but I can't really describe what they are because I haven't put the Google Docs in yet. So there's, uh, there's family killers, which is a fa it's a killer who kills all types of, like, families. Um, typically done out of jealousy or they see their own family and they think they're defending the victim somehow. It's really confusing. Uh, there's bombers who bomb because most of the time it's to make a statement, a mess up statement. Um, there's also school shooters and that's mostly done because of bullying. Um, there's serial killers and that's because it's, they normally have like, um, kind of like a signature, a signature of what they do. Like what the, what the victim looks like, 
like why, like there's like certain stuff about them that they just pick. Um, and there's multiple different types, but I can't remember all of them right now. I don't, okay, how much do they make? That's pretty much like the big question, like how much do they make? Like how much money would I get from this? And um, an FBI agent will make a salary. The salary is, well, it depends on how much education you have. So the more education you get, the more money you get. So um, the salary is equivalent to uh, 38.9, you know, cent, 30, $38.91 per hour. And then the salary, the sal the salary all around is um, um, eight thousand. Eighty thousand nine hundred and thirty. Uh, um, yeah. So more education, the more money. So often these two get confused because uh, they're very similar but totally opposite. CIA and FBI are, are different for uh, many reasons, but similar and also the same. They both work for the government. Clearly, they're both. Um, um, So CIA stands for Central Intelligence Agency, FBI's Federal Bureau of in in Investigation, and actually often they bump heads because they think one thinks we should do this, but the other one thinks we should do this. Um, FBI covers more jurisdiction, domestic issues, and operates as law enfor enforcement agency. The FBI is more to look at domestic offenders and crimes. The CIA operates with external foreign intelligence and considerably more convert um, crimes. The CIA is uh, collecting global intelligence in order to, to um, get rid of any potential offenders, which even sometimes this means they can bump heads. Example, when they, when they bumped heads is in 1979 when the FBI attempted to arrest a high-profile fugitive hiding in corrupt officials in the Bahamas, but the CIA was relying on those same corrupt officials to use a different high-profile fugitive out of Iran. So one thought we should, because he was smart. The man who, what happened was he was hiding, but the CIA kind of wanted them to come give them, like, like his, like, ideas, like, so even though he was a criminal, he was really smart. They're like, we can use this. The FBI is like, no, he's a criminal. We throw him away. Like, we arrest him. So this is where they bumped heads. They're like, we can use this for more reasons, but the FBI is like, doesn't matter. He's still a criminal. And then um, they both argued about it, which was more important, protecting the Sahara, which was what the problem was, saying he was going to bomb the place if they didn't, like, do something or if they didn't give him, like, a helicopter and a way out. Um, but in the end, the criminal got away because um, he, he literally smarted his way out of it. They made each other bump heads, and then when so there was a deal going on, he escaped. Requirement you need, and yes, I checked, there's no height requirement. There used to be a height requirement of 5'7", but since women wanted to start being an FBI agent, they decided to just have no height. They are going to take, let's say, uh, your weaknesses, like me, I'm not tall. Clearly, I'm barely five foot tall. So that would be a weakness. They would use that for, like, they take your we weakness and put it to something good. So they would probably work with, um, like, speed, um, what you can do. And if your weakness, they'll try to convert it to something better, but sometimes they can't. So uh, requirements you will need. Uh... Required education you need is a bachelor's degree often in criminal justice and completing FBI training also needed to meet physical uh, fitness standards. FBI agents must be physically fit and active. FBI agents must be, oh, that repeated for some reason. So um, let's say you go to college and you like do sports. They will look at that and how well you did and be like, well, we can use you in the field for running. Um, Yeah, but it also helps if you want to get higher up there to learn foreign languages, which is something I do want to do starting next year. And I think this is coming into the next slide. Oh, that's training videos, but um, I don't think we'll have enough time. So I'm just gonna this is basically uh, the news one is a woman doing a 
uh, like a documentary or something on like what an FBI does like in the training thing. Uh, the BuzzFeed video is basically a bunch of guys got together and see if they could do the fitness training. Um, an inside look was someone who's it was uh, like a school for FBI agents, like allow them to come show like like a presentation of what they will be like doing. How do you go back? Oh, let me show you. So what will the impact of being an agent have on me? To be honest, I don't know. Because I will have to look at a dead body to figure out what happened. And then I'll have to look around the crime scene and I'll have to get into, like, you know, deep stuff. And I think overall, like, like every job, there's good and bad stuff. So, like, good part, like... Um, you catch a criminal, bad part is learning about, like, the victims. So, like, there's, it's like, I heard they take breaks. Like, if a, it's, like, a really hard case, they can take a break. Yeah. If it doesn't work out, uh, I don't know what to say. It doesn't work out. I'll probably work with animals or um, helping the environment. Totally different thing. But. Yeah, that's the end of my pre presentation. Except there's one slide that won't come up, and I don't know why. But it's what I'm working towards being an FBI agent. Basically, I have to get my asthma under control, and then I have to uh, get, like, a trainer, a workout trainer, to, like, start getting physically fit. And then I'm also going to start learning different languages. So, like, I'm going to start off with Spanish and French, because that's definitely, the, like, the easier of the two to learn. And then I'm going to uh, learn the harder ones, kind of like Chinese and Russian. So I'm going to start out at a young age so I can get more fluent as I get older. And um, I do the Jamestown program, and they might be opening up a law enforcement thing. And if so, that's going to be another thing that's going to help me work towards being an FBI agent. Anyway, that's the end of my presentation. Um, do you mind questions? Oh, sure. Does anybody have any questions? I, you made me think of something. So, does it help becoming an FBI agent if you're a police officer first? Um, yes, there's different like routes you can go, but I want to go through college, which is more education, the better. So, um, plus you make more money. Yeah, more money. Yeah. <laughs> but you said it was like eighty thousand a year. That's a pretty good salary. Yeah. Um, of course, I'm not in it just for the money. That'd, right. That'd be not smart. But um, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. and, and I do want to say thank you for sharing your, your reasons why. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, how does being in the FBI affect the family you could have in the future? Um, Ooh, you're talking about like a husband and kids? Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I haven't really thought that far. I do <laughs> want, I like to be doing something. I don't want to be like a housewife. So I will still have my career and then I'll just have to balance it out, I guess. Like, Maybe take a break for a vacation, but um, kind of like what all your parents do. You work, you come home, you see them. Sometimes I can't, sometimes you have to travel for higher investigations, but you know, family understands, so FaceTime's always a thing, texting's always a thing, so yeah. Okay. Um, well, I hope animals that if it doesn't work out. Um, I know it's like a totally different thing, but I love animals and I like. Um, and the environment because it's just something I'd be interested in like helping out like your um, what is it called uh, community like with the environment you plant trees or you help them clean out the waters and then you can like help animals get a home or at least a shelter um, yeah so it looks like you're into helping professions yeah <clears throat> now you said something interesting you were comparing the CIA to the FBI. CIA does more international, other countries. But yet for the FBI, you still have to know other languages. So are you still dealing with other country type things? Well, some people have more, you know. Like if they come into this country and commit a crime, it's still FBI jurisdiction. Yes. So it's sometimes like there's loopholes where it's like FBI can't help. And it's like, sorry, you can't help. Like this is not your jurisdiction. It's like, but what about last time? It's like, it just doesn't count. Because, yeah, in the movies, you see the jurisdiction problem with the FBI and the local police force and the FBI and the CIA. 
Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I, I've been interested in this too from movies and TV shows. <laughs> I've also been trying to fix the FBI and the CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, buttons. All right, any other questions? Let's give Rosie another hand. That was awesome.